lovelies, I hope you're all well. So today I wanted to introduce you to a website called Pick SVGs. And this is a website which will convert a picture to an SVG file. There are lots of these websites around. Now, I will be honest, it can be very hit and miss. There are some amazing programs out there that will allow you to turn pictures to SVGs. But for the time being, we're just going to look at this website. And sometimes it works really well, and sometimes it doesn't. So I've got two images that I'm going to use. So the first one, I'm just going to go to Upload Picture. And it's just a picture of a cartoon character that I've found. So I'm going to open it. And you'll see it then turns it into an SVG. But there's several different filters you can use and it will change the detail of your SVG image. So it's well worth having a really, really good play with them to work out which one you like. Sometimes they can be great and sometimes like this one, they can be very patchy and not brilliant. But it's worth playing with them. So I'm going to keep it as this one, which is invert one. And I'm going to download the image as an SVG. I'm going to save it. And when I open the folder, you can see it there. And we'll upload it into Design Space in a moment. But I'm going to upload a, another picture, which is this very sweet little dog. I'm going to open it up. And again, you're able to go through and change the settings to allow you to decide which image you want to upload. So I'm going to go with invert number one again and I'm going to download the image and save it and then when I open the folder I can see it there as an SVG. So we're in our upload area in Design Space so we go to Upload Image and Browse and I'm going to pick one of the SVGs there and open it and there you can see that's how it's formatted so we're going to save it and I'm going to click on it and insert it into design space so you can see because I've uploaded it as an SVG we've got all the different layers down here now you can go through and individually remove them or hide them so this will hide them so they won't cut or you can just delete them but when you're dealing with an image like this, there is a lot of layers there. So a really easy way of doing it is to highlight all and weld the image as one. And this will make it one complete cut file. You're then able to click on the image and you'll see the contour button come up. Now I love using the contour button and what the contour button allows you to do is hide pieces. So for example if we want to remove some of the cuts we can then click on it and you'll see it's now been removed. If I remove this one it's now been removed and you can go through and clean the image up somewhat. So if I take those out and take those out and go through and just remove some of them. For example, if I wanted that to be a solid image rather than a cutout, I can just click on it and it will then make it a solid cut. But it's really handy for cleaning up images, especially images that you have turned into an SVG. So we're going to go back to our upload and we're going to upload our other image that we've turned into an SVG. So I'm just going to click on that and open. And you can see it's come in like this and I'm going to save it. And again, I'm going to click on it and insert the image. And once again, you can see it's come in with lots and lots of layers. So I'm just going to weld those. And again, if I wanted to clean up my image, once I've welded it, I can clean it up using the contour. 
So if you've got a picture that you love or a photo you've taken and you want to turn it into an SVG, there are websites such as Pick SVG that will allow you to do it. As I say, the results can vary and there are other programs that you can use, but this is just one of them. And you are able to clean up the image to a certain extent using your contour button. As always, I hope that this tutorial has been informative. Please do subscribe and I'll see you all again soon.